Hi, last time we were tackling Donna Lee, uh, we basically worked on the entire second half of the tune. Uh, we're proceeding in an unusual way. We're learning the last phrase followed by the second to last phrase and working our way backwards through the tune. I find it works very well for any kind of very complicated melody, which uh, Charlie Parker created here with Donna Lee. We're gonna pick it up, uh, starting to work on the first half of the tune now. Hopefully you have a lead sheet for it, but we're gonna work on the last phrase in the first half, which would be the top line here, okay? So the top line standard, down below we have a tab. Uh, if you could jot this down, at least jot down the tab or take a picture or whatever. Let's work on that final phrase. Starting on the second string, fourth fret. So I'm trying to give you a good angle on it. Starting on the fourth string, uh, the fourth fret, sorry, second string. Moving to the third string. Now we have two notes on the fourth string. Two notes on the third string. Back to the fourth string. Fourth string. A little trill here. Second string, fifth fret to seventh. One more time on that phrase. Do a few in a row just to get a little acclimated. Okay. So, as I said in the other video, uh, seriously consider, you know. Pausing the video, um, slowing it down. On YouTube, you can put it at 50% speed, 75% speed. You know, backtracking to watch something again. But we're going to try to keep moving. So that's a somewhat short phrase. Now we're going to work on a significantly longer phrase. And we're going to try to take it a step at a time. So if you disregard the top line that we just worked on, okay. Now we're going to move to the second line here. I've got a reflection on the camera. It's kind of hard to see, but basically, we're going to work on second to last phrase of Donna Lee. Okay. So, wow, the reflection is really making it so I can't see what I'm looking at. Anyway, um, we already did the top line, and then we have this. Okay. Enough of that. So, the second to last phrase is going to be. It's kind of long. Okay, so let's take it apart. Second string starting on the seventh fret to the fifth to the fourth. to the third string, going up chromatically, second string, fourth fret, third string, still on the third string, second to fifth, second string, fourth to sixth, first string, second to fourth, second, back to the second string. stretch on the third string from the second using our ring finger to grab the fifth fret on the third string second string fourth to sixth and a little stretchy here on the first we're going to go index on the second fret middle on the fourth fret that's going to be a trill so this last little bit here it's the best fingering excuse me the best fingering i found but if you find something better that's fine as long as you get the notes 
Okay, so this is kind of a marathon phrase. Here we go again. Sorry. Okay. Let me just give you another look at it. So if you can see the tab there. Okay, let's try it again. So we're going to do that phrase a couple of times, and then we're going to move on. Second string, seventh fret. preceding phrase, we're going to be looking at the top line here. So that top line, see if you can get that, uh, get the tab, take a look at the notes. Here we go. Starting on the uh, fifth string, sixth fret, <clears throat> Moving to the fourth string, third fret. Okay, so here we go. times on that. Starting on the fifth string, sixth fret, moving to the fourth string, third fret. take a look at the preceding phrase. Again, we're working our way backwards. So disregard the top line, and it's going to be second line there. Okay, here we go. Starting on the fifth string, playing from the seventh fret to the fifth fret. small finger with the pinky we're going to play the sixth fret so basically it's pinky middle pinky move to the sixth string fifth fret sixth fifth string fourth fret fourth string third to sixth third string fifth second string fourth okay it's a whole lot of talking I know it's confusing but basically starting on the fifth string string seventh fret
do it a few times in a row. Give you another look at it real quick. Concentrate there on the tab just to get the frets. Okay. I just kind of did it to myself twice. Um, let me get a closer look at this. It's a fingering thing, so. Okay, when we get to this point, third string, fifth fret, use your middle finger. Okay, let me try it again from the top. time I didn't go to the right finger and it can really mess you up. So again, let's isolate it. Moving along. Third string, fifth fret, middle finger, then go a fret below. Now what you can do here, you don't have to, but what I'm doing is a little back picking. So after, after that, we're going to be going to the fourth string, fifth fret, fifth string seventh fret and I'm taking my pick and just hitting a couple of notes with one stroke so to speak okay it's hard to get me get both hands in here but Back, up pick up pick using a classical guitar cushion and it falls down quite often. So anyway, here's this phrase. stream. Okay, so we're backing up now to the very first phrase in Donnelly, which is one that we tackled last time. So if you review um, the video from last time, you're going to see that the, the last phrase we worked on was this one. So you can move to uh, the last video that we did and just check out that phrase because that's the very first phrase in the whole tune. So if we move through the entire melody of Donna Lee, we're going to see that it's quite complicated and hopefully it's going to make sense in terms of what we did, which was moving backward through the tune. One unusual thing about the melody is there's nothing on the first two beats. So there's like 73 million notes after the first two beats, but for the first two beats, there's no notes. So he comes in on the third beat. Uh, so we'll walk through close, uh, slowly. This is just a chord. Okay. Um, we're not really working on the chords, so let's just get the melody here. I'm going to start.
starting the second half of the tune, which is what we worked on last time. Look at this. This is the lead sheet for Donna Lee. I have the real book, sixth edition. So I know you can't see the bottom of the page, but move it up a little bit. Okay. Try it one more time. Hopefully, play it better this time. to the second half. Okay. Um, let me try that last phrase one more time. Okay, it's a complicated melody, and I'm, I get lost very easily. Let me try it one more time. There it is. Okay. So if you can make heads or tails out of that, uh, you're very good. <laughs> but I'm trying to just break it down and work backwards. Because as I said last time, I find when I do that with a complicated melody, the further along I get, except for right now, the further along I get in playing the melody, the stronger it tends to get. if you have any questions. I hope it's helpful. I hope you like the tune. This is not my favorite Charlie Parker tune, but uh, I heard somebody say, a very good teacher told me that if you learn Donna Lee and learn all the phrases and kind of internalize them, which I'm still trying to do, obviously, it's a really good leg up on bebop. So anyway, um, if you find it helpful, give me a like. Uh, consider subscribing. I have, I think, 106 videos right now. Um, I'm planning on accelerating and doing more videos on a more frequent basis. Um, and ring the bell so that you get a notification. I'll be doing another one soon. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Take care.